We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Hmm, yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. Okay, let's go. Scared of heights? Not at all. You? <laughs> no. If you need a paper bag, I have one. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But... Welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please? I'm Mr. Untouchable. In that case, I suggest you try not to live up to your name, if you want to make the most of your stay at the Hindenburg, Mr. Untouchable. And now, how can I help you?
I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Untouchable. Listen, Susan. I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Untouchable. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. this kind of luxury. Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world.
What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know why I worked before this, my good man. Bravo. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. <laughs> As are you. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I require your services as a detective. You're so old, I don't know if you're senile or if you're joking. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Eh, only Milton, the man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. 
Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Yeah, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? You were the biggest boss in the Mafia, and by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to take it out on this piano. You're the only honest man I know. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew I got the right guy. But I want something in return. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. You leave Santa Esperanza and the country forever. It's a deal. I always wanted to die in Sicily. But that's the least of my worries. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. A girl? You were saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? That's a spirit. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? You hear me? I know you from somewhere. 